the data analyst stream is over. While it's a high paying field with some good opportunities, more and more people are coming into the field with unreal expectations, dedicating all of their time only to realize that it wasn't for them, and eventually ending up failing, having to start over from zero, and I don't want you to be one of those people. So today I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should not become a data analyst. But just a warning, if one of these reasons is a problem for you, that's completely fine, you can of course continue. But if two are problematic, it depends. But if you see a problem with most of these, then you may wanna seriously consider your path. Now, I'm gonna give myself one minute max for each reason, and let's begin. Starting out with number five, and this is the first thing that you'll learn in your journey, and it's that while data analytics does not require expert programming or some technical background, there are plenty of things that you have to learn. As a beginner, you're going to have to self-study and learn things like R, Python, SQL, and perhaps data visualization software like Tableau or Power BI. And this requires a certain kind of person, a certain mindset, and you will need to study and have the self-discipline to do so. But it gets even more important later, because in data analytics, you solve problems. And to do this, you will need to start out without all the knowledge and then figure out a way to solve it using the information that you have. Plus, new tools and new techniques appear all the time. And the reality is that the skills that you learn now are just one way of achieving the goal of transforming data into insights. In the future, you might use completely different methods to do so, and your job is to learn them and make them useful for the company. So if you just want to learn something once and then never do it again, this job is probably not for you. Moving on to reason number four, and this one actually scares me, because if you don't know this, you might just burn out completely. Think about when you travel to a new place, or when you heard a new song that you really enjoy, that you really liked. Eventually, if you stayed long enough or played the song on repeat, you would get bored, or at least in most cases. The fact is that as humans, when we do try something new, we usually find it quite exciting. It gives us some new experiences and a lot of new insights and things to take in. But eventually, that excitement starts to wear off and we see more of the problems, and we even find things really annoying. And it's the same with data analytics, because there are a lot of monotone and repetitive tasks in your work. And if you're just getting started, give it some time. I don't instantly say that you would love doing this for 20, 40 years when you've only tried it for two days. I know that this perspective is quite negative, but so is this entire video, I guess. But I do have some good stuff for you at the end if you do stick around as well. All right, so number three, and this one is a big one. And here I actually took help from Reddit. Yeah, Reddit. One thing people mention often is how beginners often misunderstand what data analysts actually do. One user here who claims to be a senior data analyst says that soft skills are more important than the actual hard skills that you're working with. Now, at first, this kind of seems absurd, right? Surely, working hands-on with data and, you know, dealing with it is the most important thing as a data analyst, right? But let's keep reading. Because you quickly realize that people don't know how to ask the questions they really want to ask, and you have to constantly refine their questions for weeks sometimes in order to ensure that you know what they want and that you can get it. And he's not wrong. Communication and being able to actually understand the stakeholders' requirements and their goals is a key aspect of the data analyst role, perhaps even the most important. If you don't ask the right questions, you'll get the wrong results, no matter how good you are at SQL. Now, am I saying this is a deal breaker and that you should avoid data analytics if you don't love this part and you're not an expert? Well, no, everybody can learn this, but if you really want to work in solitude, it's worth keeping in mind. Number four is up next, and now we'll talk about the job market itself. So people have claimed that it's the best job for beginners because of the high salary, you know, the low barrier to entry, and I'm guilty of this myself. I've said many times that it's a great opportunity because it's true. But the problem is that you're always competing with other people. And when there's thousands of other beginners applying for the same role, then you bet that it takes more than that to win. And that's exactly what's happened to data analytics. No, the jobs have not gotten fewer, they're actually growing. And data, especially big data, is becoming more and more important to companies. It's just more people in the industry. And if you're serious and willing to do what it takes, that's great, no worries. But sometimes you might want to consider competition as well. Now, number five up next is actually the most important reason why you should not become a data analyst by far. And it actually goes hand in hand hand with the previous reasons and I want to ask you something all right so why do you want to become a data analyst do you have a real passion for working with data and making it useful for companies or are you just looking for a high paying remote job that you can get as a beginner it's really important to consider this because if you're just here for the job benefits there are other beginner friendly jobs that you can get where you can also work remotely 
earn high salaries and jobs that are also less competitive where you don't have to you know pick up a sword and fight for an interview and where companies actually struggle to find people for example in it you can get an entry-level job without previous experience as a help desk or support and then access other it roles with high pay down the line the same is with technology sales they're just asking for more people you can also get into accounting an often overlooked job where people are actually in high demand now shameless plug our partner course careers has a free intro course for both it and accounting accounting where you can learn about the field and see if it's something for you. They have thousands of student testimonials like Saul who went from being a random student to in just one month getting hired in IT at 57,000 per year or Tevin who went from a warehouse worker to an IT specialist in two months. Because I don't think everybody should become a data analyst. Now, some people definitely should. It's a great opportunity, but there are fantastic other opportunities. Don't just follow the crowd because of the sake of it. Make an educated decision based on how the reality looks like and check the description for the free training if you're interested. And either way, thanks for watching. I wish you good luck with whatever you decide to pursue.